All right, so if you've been watching my recent videos, you will have seen this speaker just here. Now, Keith gave this to me to do a video on and he wanted me to blow it up. But one thing I really wanted to see was how well a speaker would cope outside for about a month. Now, I'm not actually too sure how long it's been, but as we can see by this cracking here along the edge, it's definitely not fared too well. So, I have had this outside just sitting on the back in some bricks in the backyard and I definitely haven't encouraged the uh, wear by filling up the entire inside with water. However, it has been experiencing days on the, uh, the high side of 40 degrees Celsius, which is about 100 plus Fahrenheit. And it's also experienced some extreme amounts of rain, just like you'll see right now. It's a little bit wet out here. So having said that now, we can have a look at the side of the speaker here and we can see there's a massive amount of cracking along the side. We can also see there is a whole bunch of bubbling from the MDF here underneath of the material that the speaker box is coated in. But now what I'm going to quickly do is actually take the amplifier out of the back because I just want to quickly make sure before I plug this speaker into the wall and see if it works or not, I just want to double check there's not an excessive amount of water just sitting on the amplifier waiting to short circuit, trip a breaker or even worse, start a fire. So I'm going to quickly check that out now and then we'll have a look at uh, what's inside, what the inside of the box looks like, and then we'll hook it up and we'll see if we can get it to pair to my phone and we'll hear how bad the air leaks around here now that there is like a full on gap, even worse than when it first started off. All right, so I've now removed the screws for the amplifier, so let's lift this thing out and see the back. Got a little bit of a splash of water there, but there doesn't appear to be any excess water on the back of the amplifier. So I'm just going to have a quick look inside the enclosure and I'll film some of it so you guys can see what's actually happened in there. And then it'll be the moment of truth plugging this into a power source and seeing if it actually boots up. Upon closer inspection of the back, there is actually a fair amount of moisture just over the back panel there and on the actual circuit board itself. So I think this will be interesting whether or not it does boot up. However, the inside of the enclosure doesn't appear to be in too bad of a condition. However, it is definitely quite damp. So with that being said, now let's uh, quickly plug this thing in and uh, let's have a moment of truth. Let's see if this thing actually works and boots up successfully. All right, so I've now got this thing plugged into an extension cord. I'm gonna to go to the other side of my room now and plug it in from a distance. It is switched on on the top of the speaker and actually I'll position the camera so you can actually see if the LED on top boots up when I plug it in. All right, so here we are. I'm gonna go plug it in. Moment of truth. Do you think this speaker will boot up or not? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let's see. All right, so I'm not sure how good the audio was then, but if you saw that then, I plugged it in, there was this sort of really high hissy noise, and then all of a sudden there were two pops and the power LED went back out. So I've unplugged it now, and I'm pretty sure that's it. I'd say what was happening is the water that was on top of the amplifier board was shorting out, and then just then the real air has popped, or the fuse I should say, and now the speaker will no longer work. I'll try plugging it in again and we'll see if we get a different result, but my guess is that's the end of this thing. Unfortunately, I probably should have let it dry a little bit longer, but oh wow. All right, so I plugged it back in a second time with absolutely no luck. The amplifier did not boot up at all, so I can actually smell it a little bit. So I'd say it definitely did short out and something has blown out. So what I'm gonna do now is have a quicker and closer look at the rest of the box and we'll see what sort of condition that's in and uh, yeah, we'll see how durable the MDF is now that it's coped with some water for quite a few days. And one other thing too, before someone asks me about it, I did add this screw here. So removing the grill would be a much easier job for me later down the road. So first of all, let's inspect the grill. The MDF on this doesn't seem to have fared too bad. I can't really see any swelling at all. So the grill hasn't fared too bad. So it's definitely, you can't say that about the rest of the box. Just look at that separation along there. This thing is completely cooked. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is remove the woofer and see if I can see any water in the bottom of the enclosure because I actually only could see a very small amount of the box from behind the amplifier. So let's remove this woofer and see what's behind that. Oh, okay, wow. Oh, I've... <laughs> Look at this. 
just look, I, the moment I, I, actually I got that all on video, the moment I applied any pressure to the screw, the whole entire enclosure just caved apart and fell in on itself. I've never seen anything like that before in my life, but that was definitely quite funny to watch. I don't even know how I'm going to get that out now because that is just completely inside there. I don't know how thick the wood is. I'm sure I'm about to find out, but the water damage has definitely got to the MDF. So here's some proof for you guys at home how weak MDF gets when it is exposed to water. And that's why people properly seal boxes or make plastic boxes when they stick speakers outside because MDF in its raw form just does not coat with moisture at all. All right, so I've now got a nice wide angle shot because I can see how damp the MDF is inside. So what I'm gonna quickly do is just play around with it and see if there's any other really, really weak points of the MDF uh, purely because I, the I feel like I can actually bend it with just my fingers. So. The audio will go really hissy right now because the auto gains are increasing it because I won't be talking, but what I'll do is I'll cover that up with some music, but let's see how well or how durable the MDF is now that it's completely saturated in water. The inside is a very dark color and very, very damp. I can feel that entire side panel is coming out all the way along the side of the box. Okay, so just have a look at this. This is probably seven or eight mil of MDF here and it's just completely disintegrating. That's just, oh man. Have a look how weak that is. Let's see, if I rip this real hard, this is gonna require some serious effort, but let's see how durable this is with a serious amount of force. Just, <laughs> The MDF just doesn't cope with it at all. And we can see how thick the MDF was here for the woofer um, where it was broken. Um, it's just, it loses all of its strength. And we can see down here in the bottom of the enclosure down here, there's still a little bit of excess water just chilling. But man, I actually didn't see the little amplifier board down the bottom there. So I'd say that might've actually been what gave way. That looks like a little transformer. That might be a class D amplifier and that's where it was getting its power source from. But nevertheless, <laughs> oh my God. I'm definitely gonna be blowing these speakers out because they should definitely still work. But nevertheless, I'm now going to just keep playing with the uh, enclosure here and just figuring out even more of its weak points. I am unbelievably surprised at how much damage this actually causes the MDF and how much strength it loses. The funniest part of this is the actual thing that's holding most of it together is the vinyl wrap. It's the strongest part still. You can see right here what I was talking about as well with the MDF being really quite damp. And funnily enough, this actually looks like when it was glued together, they included some little metal uh, screw bits here because I just stabbed myself with one of these bits here, but it's actually now on the carpet, so I'm gonna step on that at a later date. Man, I really wasn't kidding when I said I stabbed myself with that little bit. It is actually bleeding, so it actually went through my skin, unfortunately. All right, so what I'm gonna try and do now is rip the top panel off and we'll see how strong that is. Trying to keep in mind for these little metal screws here, trying not to keep poking myself out with it. <laughs> wow. I put some force down here and lifted it up and we can see the entire box, including the top, has completely come apart. Wow. Just look at that. The MDF has just completely destroyed this thing. <laughs> I've never done anything like this or seen anything like this before. But man, just look at that. <laughs> what a sight. It's it's truly really, really weird feeling. This is the first time I've ever, ever had anything like this on my channel, so. It definitely deserves a like for that just alone, but 
Of course, if you are interested in a speaker blurb for all of the components in today's video, let me know in the comment section down below because I'll definitely be interested in your response and what I should do with the woofers. All right, so here we are with what I'm gonna have to say is the end of the video, a complete graveyard of speakers. If you have enjoyed what you've seen in today's video and am amazed with how all of this was done with literally just my hands and a bit of water, let me know in the comment section down below. I am extremely surprised at just how flimsy MDF becomes. And as well as that, I'm actually surprised that the enclosure was held together with some really little uh, metal sort of um, nails uh, in the corners of the box and of course pricked myself with it and it really hurts. But nevertheless, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. I feel like nevertheless is replaced with that being said at the moment for some reason, but as we can see, we have three woofers over there that are waiting to be blown out. So if you are interested in that, let me know. With that being said, guys, you know how the outro goes. If you have enjoyed this video, let me know with a like on it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. And I do hope you enjoyed this one because I definitely enjoyed making it. And uh, oh man, Keith is going to be interested when he sees this one.